What's a problem of yours that would be solved if someone just gave you $5,000? College is withholding my transcripts until I pay $3,000. This may or may not work with your college, but when I had the same problem I called up the registrar and they said they would send a copy directly to a company I was interviewing with so it wouldn't stop me from getting a job, and paying them back. It's worth a try if you're in the same position. I'm at the stage of life where 5k is tough to come up with but getting 5k won't put a dent in my debts. Yes. That awkward 20 to 50 phase. Been there. Still there. We'll be here for quite a while actually. I used to be poor. I still am, but I used to be, too. Mitch Hedberg jokes are always good. Damn only a few years ago I would have had a bunch of answers to this question, but right now I got nothing I have been taking my newfound financial security for granted thanks for the reality check. I really appreciate this comment. Nice. I'd use it to cover about 95% of the out-of-pocket cost on reconstructive dental work I need to smile for the first time ever. Edit, to clarify, in female, haha. Not sure of how to respond to requests for more info as that info isn't allowed on this sub. I am truly touched by everyone's responses, thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Platinum and silver for this and another comment though, holy cow. Where do you live? I manage a dental laboratory in Oklahoma City. I would be willing to find a doctor to work with you if you live close and make the dentures for free. If you can find a dentist local to you willing to do the extractions and send me the impressions I will make the dentures for the dentist for free and send them to you. Edit, wow thanks for the silver. I just know this man's struggle. I see it every single day in my line of work and would hate to see someone struggle when I could use my abilities to help. Gold as well. I rarely comment on here as I just like to browse. Thank you. Now Platinum, this is my first time getting any award. I don't feel worthy but thank you everyone. So I live about 500 miles or so from OKC, and have made the drive with friends so not in my current beater of a car and it was a breeze. I want so badly to respond fully right now, but I will be checking this on my lunch and whenever I'm off, you're making me tear up again after it just stopped. Holy shit. Send me a message when you get time. I may not get back with you tonight as it's getting late for me, but I will in the morning. You both have to keep us all posted now. This is a feel-good news story in the making. I'm finally seeing one of these things happen in the moment, it's wonderful. Right? This is fabulous. Combined with an unexpected bonus, literally unheard of with my company before now, it would pay off a loan of mine. Freeing up $300 month to pay off the rest of my debts, allowing me to be debt-free in roughly a year. Just freeing up that $300 month would give me a shit ton of breathing room. This is me. I just want one thing paid off so I can spread that money out into the rest of the things, so that eventually there are no more things. I make a decent amount of money, and I could live comfortably on it if I could just get out from under the debts I incurred getting to this point. That's exactly my situation now. I know spending all that money up front was an investment in myself will pay off, and I make good money currently, but I've stretched my budget pretty thin. Once one thing gets paid off though, the rest will fall like dominoes. You guys are all thinking very clearly about this and are on the right track. When deciding on which debt to tackle first, be sure to do your amortization homework to effectively target everything at once. I was very surprised at what a few extra bucks here and there could cut off the length of mortgages and auto loans. It makes sense to just target things by interest rate, mostly. But, if you can balance the long-term picture while you're at it you will win even harder. Keep up the good work. Me not being able to see shit because my current income isn't enough to buy new glasses hashtag x200b, edit, thank you everybody for the help and support. I'm just currently unable to accept anybody's help because of extremely controlling and narcissistic parents, I fear that they will get angry at me for not spending the money on them. I'm also working on moving out. Please don't worry as soon as my boyfriend is able to he will get me new glasses. Again thank you everybody. Tip, go to a place like America's Best that offers free eye exams. Do the free eye exam and ask for a copy of the prescription. You don't have to buy glasses from them, just leave. Then, go to zenny.com. Got my pair for $27. I don't have vision insurance or anything. And the glasses are actually nice, lots of styles, anti-reflective coating, etc. Edit, sweet gold. Thanks. 
The closest America's best is four hours away from me. I live in the middle of a desert next to nothing. A day trip to fix your eyes. I don't know about your situation but that might be worth it. Op I changed my mind, it's cheaper, and safer, to just go to a Walmart that has an eye center. Do that. And how do you expect him to drive there if he can't see the goddamn road? If drunk people can drive, so can you. This is the best advice I've ever seen on Reddit. Moving home. I need a lot of adaptations to any property I live in, and this would help me get much closer to being independent. Hey I hope you have much success in this goal of yours. I'd be able to pay off 10% of my student loan. Woo. ITD helped put a small dent in mine as well. I could pay off my business credit card and stop deluding myself that I can actually make it work. If it really isn't going to work then 5k of debt from it is better than 10k or 50k. Sunk cost fallacy is a bitch. Buying my insulin. $2,273 for a 3 month supply. Insurance restarts next month and I have to meet my deductible, and I pay percent 20 of that. That's just my insulin, not test strips or pump supplies. Makes me wonder if it's worth it to stay alive at times. Edit, I am type 1, not type 2, so not using insulin is not a choice and it's not based on my lifestyle. And, obligatory, thank you for the platinum. Smile. There's an online Canadian pharmacy online that you can buy from with a prescription from a doctor, you will pay a lot less, get what you're already taking, it's just sourced from a different pharmacies in different countries, Canada, UK, Madagascar, Ireland, India and more. All are certified name brand or generic and 100% safe, you only have to make sure that you keep track of when you need them cause it can take up to 3 weeks to get to you. I used to work for one, and you really don't need to pay what you do in America, you can get them cheaper. Edit, the ones that are safe require prescriptions and don't call you unless you are a customer and have an order pending. How do you go about purchasing prescriptions online from other countries? You get the prescription from your doctor in America. Then you send it to the internet pharmacy and they can fill your prescription and it ships from Canada where the drug is way cheaper. The one I worked for was called Canada Pharmacy Online. You scan an email, fax or snail mail your prescription in, you create an account, either set up direct debit, use a credit card or send a check to pay. If the prescription is altered, or something is wrong with it, they call the doctor office that prescribed it, that can hold up your order. The drugs are shipped from the pharmacy you choose, so it depends on country of origin, but prices vary from country to country, but all are better than the US. It will also give you a heads up on worldwide shortages, they also do pet medications as well. The first time you call, it can take a while, it is a call center, but is open 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Do not order from one that doesn't require a prescription. There are many red flags, it's most likely illegal and will also most likely be held at customs or returned to sender. I'd move away from my toxic family and start somewhere new. Edit, thank you, friends, for the kind words. Aw, oh, sorry to hear, why do families have to be dumb sometimes? Because most of the times they try to shape their better selves from you and in the process they forget that you are you and not who they want you to be. Articulation speech issues, I looked into a coach but they are really pricey. Edit, man, Reddit is truly amazing. Thank you to all those who posted something to address my concern. I truly teared up at how helpful everyone has been. I believe my issue is cluttering or slurring and now, thanks to you all, I have a host of ideas to try out. For others who may also be dealing with speech issues and want the TL, doctor version of what has been suggested, Toastmasters, local universities, speech clinics, primary car provider, rapping, other Reddit sites, like RSLP, reading out loud, and several internet resources. Thanks so much everyone. Even online? Might there be a local or internet group to help you for free? I keep meaning to reach out to Toastmasters, thanks for reminding me smile.